This is a review of the Super 7 Ultimates Thundercats line Snarf figure. The figure no longer comes in a brown mailer box and the Thundercats logo is no longer a red metallic foil. A view of the back of the box. Slip cover removal. Close up of the figure. Did not know that Snarf had a last name. That's amusing. Anyway, you can pause this to read the bio. Here are all the accessories. He comes posed standing on his tail. He is fully painted except for his beard, which I think is the color of the plastic, which I wish was painted. He also has a smiling face and a uh, yelling face, an additional tail, a handbag purse of fruit, the Sword of Omens and the Claw, and f four additional hands. Here's the stand the figure comes on. The articulation of the tail, you can swivel it. It's on a ball joint. You can move the tail up and down. Look at the figure itself. The head is on a ball joint. You can move it all around. Move his arms up and down to the side. He has wrist articulation. Bend the elbow. Move the leg. Swivel the foot. Ankle swivel. So he has a lot of articulation to him. Now we can remove the bottom part of the tail and swap it out. Here's a different tail attached to a figure. Nicely painted. And there he stands on his own. Get the claw and the sword. Connect that together. Now let's swap out his head. He has the smiling face on now and his pouch, ready to go on an adventure. Here he has the open mouth and the open claw hands like he's about to attack. A comparison of the claws, on the right is the snarf claw and on the left is the claw from the red lino. You see he has the tab on it to put on the hip. And the eye of Thundera is gold. As to on snarf it is white. The Snarf Claw is also slimmer and a bit smaller than the Red Lino Claw. Here's the claw that you put on the Lino figure to replace his hand. You can tell it's a different color. It's also much wider and it's bigger than the Snarf Claw when we put them side by side together. Here's a scale comparison of Snarf next to Lino. That's the review of the Super 7 Ultimate Snarf figure. I think the Snarf figure captures the innocence and corniness of that era of the Thundercats, and it's one of the pivotal figures in the series.